Good evening, uh, nurses. Good evening, nurse uh, angels in the sick room. Uh, for all the nurses out there who are watching this video, uh, good evening, uh, good morning, and uh, uh, good afternoon. So, uh, this video is for it's a, a story about how I uh, passed my CEN exam or my certified emergency nurse exam guys in just three days so I'm gonna tell you um, I'm gonna share to you my story why I ended up um, you know studying for my C and in in a few days in just three days guys and what did I do what what techniques did I you know um, use in order to uh, pass my uh, certified uh, emergency nurse in in just three days guys. so uh, sit down uh, make yourself comfortable listen and watch this video and take down notes guys uh, make sure that you you get the golden nuggets out of uh, my, my story for for tonight okay all right so for those people or for those nurses who is not familiar with uh, CEN or Certified Emergency Nurse uh, exam. It's a 175, 175 uh, questions, guys, and you have to finish it within three hours. Okay, so 175 questions, and you have to finish it within three hours. And the passing rate is 70 percent, 70 percent, and um, make sure that you understand also that that 175 guys 150 uh questions within that 175 questions guys are the one that is scored okay and that's 25 uh questions that was left is for it's it's unscored and it's considered as a uh, pre-test guys okay so to summarize it's you you you're scored within the 150 points, guys. So, 70%, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm really bad with math, guys. So, most probably, you have to get at least 105 or 210 uh, correct questions, guys, in order to pass your CEN exam, okay? And so, what are the areas that's, that are tested uh, during your, your CN exam, guys? Um, the two uh, main areas are the cardiovascular emergencies, and the next one would be your respiratory emergencies, guys. And then, uh, other areas also that's tested uh, during your CN exam is your GI uh, emergencies, your GU uh, emergencies, your gyneco uh, gynecology, uh, obstetrics, guys, um, pediatric, uh, neuro, guys, uh, neuro emergency, uh, ortho and wound, psychosocial uh, emergencies, environmental and uh, toxicology, guys, uh, uh, those emergencies also are tested, shock, um, shock and trauma is also uh, tested in this exam uh, medical and uh, communicable uh, diseases are tested also in this exam guys and uh, what else i think uh, professional uh, issues guys has also been tested on this test guys uh, the fee i think during my time uh, it was 300 around 370 dollars guys 370 dollars and then uh, if you're a member of the ENA um, association, guys, then um, all you have to pay is $230 or $250. But then my, my company, because uh, I was working as a flight nurse during that time, guys, um, they shouldered my... No, actually, they, they did not shoulder it. They reimbursed it. So it's still free, guys. So... You really have to take it also you i mean i love to take uh free you know free exams guys so so i i took this one and they reimbursed it once you pass it they reimburse it guys so the backstory um to this is that uh during that time i was a uh, flight nurse when i took my cn exam guys and um uh, 
when you uh, my air ambulance company they require us to either have the CFRN exam or the certified flight uh, registered nurse exam or your CN exam guys in in some other uh, uh, air ambulance uh, services guys or company they require you to do like uh, just C CFRN so for my um, my air ambulance guys uh, during that time they they require either uh, CN or CFRN so I, I choose uh, CN over CFRN because number one uh, most of my uh, PRN or my part-time job during that time guys is uh, ER and also um, I think one of my co-worker uh, if my memory serves me right he he took the exam and then he still has the access to like an online review guys and so I said you know I, I can use that and that's that's for free guys and I did not spend anything uh, during that time guys during my my CN exam guys so uh, my my exam was reimbursed and uh, my review I had my resource from my co-worker who also took the exam guys and and mind you uh, nurses this exam is I think one of the I think the most difficult uh, exam that I ever took um, compared to you know uh, my other exams also one let's just say one of the the most difficult exam that I took guys because maybe because I, I did not have the you know uh, uh, the time to study and or it's just it's just difficult guys because it's it's testing you as and uh, you know in, in emergency situations guys and what would be your your you know your respond to that and so that's for me that's a difficult exam also uh, my co-worker I think he uh, took it um, three times I think on the third take he passed it guys so so that's good so I, I learned a lot from from uh, his mistakes the, his failures guys so that's that's the number one uh, nugget for for tonight um, learn from people who took the exam all right ask them on which area did they have um, difficulty and you know borrow their resources guys uh, for free you know and ask them for their notes I think I asked him for their for his notes also guys but the problem was I had four I think I have four jobs during that time four jobs guys so I was doing flight nursing um, and and the good thing about uh, my flight nursing during that time guys um, I don't know if they changed that we are like uh, EMS also um, we work 24 hours so for one day let us say Monday I, I go in and then I work for uh, 24 hours and then I'll be off the Tuesday the following day and then I'll be on uh, 24 hours again on Wednesday and then I'll be off on Thursday and then I think I'll be 12 hours on was it 24 24 no I'll be uh, 24 again on Friday guys and then on Saturday no Sunday I'll be half like 12 hours and then on the next week the following week guys on the second week uh, pay period I would be off okay so that's how nice it is so I was able to work other uh, jobs also so I worked in my ER in the local area where I was uh, residing so I worked there in the ER they always uh, needed uh, ER nurses also guys so if they call me I go and I, I work and then I have another ER um, hospital guys that is an hour away from uh, from where I uh, from my residence guys so that's my second uh, job and then of course my my flight nursing job that's my third job that's my regular job 
and then I have two part-time or a PRN uh, ER uh, nursing and then my fourth job was uh, I was a weekend supervisor guy so uh, if I'm off on the weekends I supervise in a nursing home because they they need also uh, registered nurses in in the nursing home guys so I had four nursing jobs and then I also uh, work as a uh, referee, a basketball referee, guys, because I love basketball. So, um, four nursing jobs and one uh, non-nursing job, which is uh, to referee or officiate a uh, basketball game, guys. So that's it. So with 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 me having uh, four to five jobs, guys, juggling uh, four to five jobs, guys, it was hard for me to sit down and and study. Um, I even like uh, I think I I bought a um, I bought a tablet just for me to study, guys. When we're you know when we're, we're not doing anything, or if it's a downtime, if we don't have patients to fly, uh, then I I try, guys, but. I don't know why I, I was just so stubborn I think I was so stubborn and I did not study I just did not study guys um, I had the resources that was given to me by a co-worker also but uh, what I did was I, I put a copy uh, no I, I made a copy and so every time you know um, it's downtime then I, then I try to read but then I was working a lot of hours so I cannot study. I'm just making excuses most probably, guys. I was so stubborn, guys. I was so stubborn that I, you know, I just bring my resources with me to work. But then every time I try to study, I don't know. Um, I think during that time I was black cloud also. Because every time I, I bring my, my resources for me to study, I... That's the time that we have like uh, patients all the time, guys. Uh, patients to fly. Um, so, uh, as a, as a result, I was not able to study, guys. So one week before the exam, I uh, talked to my PD or my um, program director, and I told her, uh, "Ma'am, um, can I, you know, can I take a break on this? You know, uh, like." Uh, I was asking for like one week, but I don't know what happened, guys. I cannot remember what happened, but I still end up with just four days off. Oh, no, I, I think I, I grabbed some more hours from my other job, guys. So what I did was, um, anybody familiar with uh, South Padre, guys? So uh, South Padre, no, not, not South Padre. Was it South Padre? Or... Hmm... Shame, I forget the, the name of the place where I took my, my CEN exam, guys. Um, it's near the beach. Um, no, it's not South Padre, guys. Um, the other side of South Padre. Uh, maybe later I, I would be able to remember it. Anyway, uh, we went there, guys. I uh, booked for uh, three nights on a uh, hotel, guys. And so what I did... Um, was just to study on three days guys on three nights actually so i i only have like three nights but um hear me out here there's another uh the second nugget uh guys is that what i did was um during my days off also guys if i don't have a a call from my other jobs guys i was a p phtls uh, instructor also that helped me guys so so I, I volunteer no I did not volunteer for that because I'm also paid by my air ambulance company when I'm teaching guys so the I have the opportunity to teach PhDLS that's uh, the pre hospital trauma certification so it's a PhDLS so I was teaching that guys uh, prior to my uh, CN exam so that helped also so if you have the chance guys even if it's not CEN, guys, even if it's uh, if you're going to take NCLEX, guys, and you're you're really short of time, guys, um, and you are working, let's say you have four jobs, three jobs like me, guys, if you have a lot of jobs, guys, if you have a job that gives you the opportunity, opportunity to, uh, 
to teach, then grab that, okay? Like for example, if they need like BLS uh, instructors, they need ACLS instructors, uh, Pulse instructors, guys, PHTLS instructors, um, a speaker uh, during seminars or or any other uh, programs, guys, then, then, then grab that opportunity because that's going to make you study, you know, before your class or before you teach or before you know the program we're in you're you're the speaker guys so so that's gonna make you make you study all right so that helped me guys okay that's the second nugget for tonight all right um so going back to that guys we went to the hotel i a you know and then um so i was scheduled All right, let me just write this down, guys, okay? So this is the first day. Now I'm going to tell you what I did for the first uh, three days, guys. All right? So first day, second day. And third day. So due to the time constraint, guys, um, I was forced to just... So what I did was this, okay? So I bought a... Um, I bought a test bank, guys, for CEN exam. Um, I think it's like 1,500 or 2,000 um, questions with rationale. Um, so what I did was on those three days remaining, guys... Those three days, I just burned my candle and I, I studied the whole day, guys. My kids, uh, when they uh, when we went to the hotel, because it's it's a it's a beachfront hotel, guys. So they can just walk to the to the beach, and then they also have like a um, a a pool, like a salt water pool with which is like a, a, you know, a hot tub, but at the same time, so they really enjoyed it, guys. But I was just inside the four corners of my uh, hotel room, guys, and I was just um, doing uh, questions, guys. That's it, because there's no time for me to study, guys, like to open a book, a 150 uh, pages book, guys, and, and then uh, go through it. So what I did, guys, for just for those three days is just I was just answering question, questions with rationale. And I made sure that I rationalized like really good, guys, like I went into deep uh, rationalization, guys, because uh, what it does is that you are answering question and then you're doing a rationalization so you are studying at the same time guys so if i have like a problem with um you know a, a term a medical term that i'm not familiar with or a disease that i'm not familiar with then uh that's the time that i google it that's it you know and then i move on guys all right okay so um all right. So on the first day, guys, I so I already bought a a test bank questions, guys, for me to practice. Okay. So what I did, oh, always remember, guys. This is the third nugget. If because this is our three days of of cramming, guys. Okay. Um, if you're really short uh, uh, of time, um, it, you have time constraints, so. Uh, so just do this, guys. Just answer questions, guys. But you always have to have a break. Always have a break. All right? When you're studying, even if you if you have all the time in the world, guys, when you're studying, always have a break. So my break was my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. That's it. During those times, I take a break. I take an hour break. So 30 minutes of eating, and then I would... Uh, you know, go out with the kids for 30 minutes. That's it. Just one hour, guys. That's what I, I uh, give for my, um, as a break for, for myself when I was studying for three days in order to pass my CEN exam, guys. All right. So on the first day, I started with 25 questions, guys. Okay. 25 questions. Okay. 
and then I rationalize or I I I made sure that I I uh, I do my uh, rationale on this guy. So twenty five questions, and every twenty five questions I stop and then I rationalize, guys. And that's what I did for the first day. And don't forget, you take breaks, okay? So I took my uh, breakfast as my break, uh, my my lunch as my break and my dinner as my break and then I try to sleep at around 10 to 11 p.m. guys 10 to 11 p.m. Um, I try to get five hours of sleep as much as possible five hours of sleep is enough guys actually it's eight it's recommend eight is recommended but uh, most of the doctors that I knew guys when they were doing the residency they told me um, five hours is enough enough uh, sleep enough for your body to, to rest five uh, hours of uh, sleep so if you're <laughs> if you're taking the exam or any nursing exam guys uh, within this week and you haven't really studied anything guys do five hours of um, um you know uh, if that works for you then then do that if not then do your eight hours of uh, straight uh, sleep guys okay all right, but for me, I five hours works really good for me, guys. All right, and at that time, I was so anxious also that I could not sleep that much. Uh, I mean, for eight hours, guys. So I just do five hours. All right, so 25, 25 questions with rationalization on the first day. All right, I did that the whole day until 11 p.m., guys. All right, I did not go to the beach or something like that, J only during my break time. All right, on the second day, guys, on the second days, I did 50. I started early in the morning, 50 questions, guys, 50 questions, 50 questions with rationalization. All right, so 50 questions with rationalization and then half day, that's for half day. And then after lunchtime, guys, after I rest for, for lunch, then I did 100. All right, and don't forget guys, during the second day, during the second day, guys, what I did was, um, I placed, uh, I have my, my stopwatch on my iPhone, guys. I have a stopwatch in my iPhone. So I did uh, per question, so one question is equivalent to 60 seconds or one minute. All right, so that's what I did, guys. All right, so one questions, I timed it for 60 seconds or one minute. And then when the, the, the alarm goes off, guys, and then I move to the next question. Now, if I haven't answered the question, guys, uh, within 60 seconds, then I will just move, guys. I will just move to the next question, okay? Even if I haven't answered the you know, because I, I, I took uh, 60 seconds, guys, and I haven't answered it, I will just move to the next question, guys. All right? So just 60 seconds per question, and then move to the next question, even if you haven't answered it. All right? Okay. So that's training, guys. So what what is this doing to you guys? Or what what does it does for me? All right, to help me in passing my, my CEN or my other uh, nursing exam, guys, because this is how I do it, guys. Always, I always have a clock and then I time myself for 60 seconds, guys. Now, this will train you, all right, to read uh, faster, guys, and to analyze faster and to become more proficient, guys, and efficient at the same time, guys, in answering questions, guys. All right, so. Um, so I would just do that and, um, and then just move on. So now within 60 seconds, guys, I am training myself to read the questions because this is what I do, guys, when I, I I'm going to make a video most probably if you want me to make a video on how to, because there's a science behind, uh, answering, uh, nursing questions, guys. Uh, nursing exam questions or tests uh, if you want me to do that uh, 
video guys on how I uh, literally attack questions, uh, nursing questions, or how I answer it, even uh, SATA questions, guys, or select all that apply questions, guys. Um, there's a science behind it, and that's what I use, and that's what I, I do to in order to, uh, and that's what I, you know, um, apply in order to uh, answer these questions and pass my exams, guys, my nursing exams, okay? All right, so 60 seconds, what I usually do is that I have to read the question twice. Within 60 seconds, I am trying to train myself to read the whole situation, right? Sometimes some, some situations and questions are like, like a paragraph. So I'm training, I'm training myself that within 60 seconds, I would be able to read the question, <coughs> excuse me, and the situation twice. And then I'm going to go through the multiple choice also within 60 seconds, 60 seconds. So I'm training myself, guys. So that's why if I'm not able to answer this, then I move to the, to the next question because I'm just trying to train myself to do that. All right. And so on the third day, guys, on the third day prior to my exam, guys, I'm going to do 100 50 no sorry I was doing 120 questions with rationalization guys so 120 questions with rationalizations and it's timed also guys those are the golden nuggets guys okay um, 60 seconds for one minute per each question guys and then I move on and then after 120 questions I sit down and I rationalize guys all right and then um, after that half day after my lunch then I do 175 questions with rationalization 175 questions with rationalization guys okay and then, so what is, why is this important, guys, that you have to time yourself? And why do you have to go to 175 questions, guys? And then you are doing your rationalization. So what it does is it uh, increases your stamina in, in answering uh, question, guys. Because if you're just going to do 50 a day, guys, you are trained, your body, your mind, is trained to do to just do 75 questions guys but if you're gonna do 175 questions guys 175 questions again and then you rationalize 175 questions again guys your your stamina uh during the exam and your your uh, your rationalization in your thinking guys would be trained to do 175 questions all right and then when you go to the exam it would be easier for you to take in or to test for 175 questions i promise you it's gonna be easier for you if you do this guys so for three days guys let's review 25 50s hundreds 100 questions with rationalization after and then make sure that you time it for 60 seconds or one minute. And then you go for 120 and 175, guys. So that's what I did for three days, guys. And in the fourth day, I went to the exam, guys. Oh, before before going to the exam, guys, this is uh, what I usually do because I... I'm always anxious about, you know, what if this happens, what if that happens, guys. So, in the afternoon, on the third day, guys, what I did was to uh, drive um, to the exam center. I made sure that I know my route uh, or my way to the exam center, guys. And then, um, I on the day of the exam... Uh, what I did was I just ate a light breakfast, like really light breakfast, guys, because um, if I'm anxious, guys, I, I do get uh, butterflies on, on my belly, guys, and then I go into uh, loose tools, guys, or diarrhea. So I'm, I'm 
really bad at that guys that's that's what I usually have so what I do even in interviews guys I I have diarrhea because I'm uh, it, it's a symptom that I have because I was um, uh, just anxious I'm anxious I'm just human guys like you an average nurse guys and those are the techniques that I do I, I even drink um, loperamide or any anti-motility um, or anti-diarrheal medication prior to my exam or uh, three or five hours prior to my exam guys to my exams to my nursing exams guys and that's what I do uh, prior to going there and then I just eat a, a uh, light breakfast guys and the day before I go to the exam center so I would know my way my route and uh, what else I usually pray um, pray for wisdom pray for strength um, that I would be able to finish the the exam guys uh, that's what I do and that's where I, I get my, my confidence guys and mind you uh, mom and sir uh, nurses um, angels who are listening anxiety guys um, is good for for taking the exam and for preparing for your exam guys uh, for any exam, not just CEN guys, NTLEX, NLE, um, any other uh, certifications guys. But make sure that it's just uh, mild anxiety. So don't go to panic anxiety though. Because when you go to your, pa uh, when you have panic, uh, when you have mild anxiety guys, what it does, it, it opens up your, your eyes, your vision would be uh, better. Uh, the blood flow to your brain would be better, way, way better, guys, if you have, and your focus is, is better, guys, and your thinking is better. So mild anxiety is, is good for preparing and during the exam, guys. But when you go to panic anxiety, oh my God, uh, most probably you're going to be hit by a car, guys, if you have panic anxiety. All right? So, um... And lesson learned, guys, on this exam, or I'm so sorry, on the fourth day, guys, I passed my exam. Because um, they're going to give you the, the unofficial result, but that's actually the final result, guys. So they gave me the paper after my, my test. And I was, um, I don't know, guys, uh, I, was, I was in tears, guys. This is, <laughs> I think, the... The exam we're in, I, 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 uh, I cried. Uh, oh, and my CGFNS also. Um, I, my, my, I, I could not explain it, guys. I was so thankful. Uh, I was so blessed, guys, to, to pass the exam with uh, three long days of uh, preparation, guys. So, um, to all the nurses out there, guys, don't be like me. I'm just trying to tell you, don't, don't, don't be like me, guys. Uh, don't be stubborn. If you have an exam, guys, or a certification to take, um, please do plan for it. And then you follow your plan. And then you execute your plan, guys. And then there would be less stress. You'll be... <coughs> excuse me. You'll be more confident. Um, in taking the exam guys and there's a higher percentage of you passing the exam so um, always remember this also guys uh, per research um, I'm not trying to scare you guys I'm just trying to encourage you here and I'm trying to uh, uh, to tell you that um, it, it's not good to just you know prepare for a short period of time if if you have an exam guys because once you fail guys um 80 percent of the time guys um you're gonna fail the second time that you you take the the same exam guys because number one this is based on the research so number one uh you're gonna lose your your confidence guys and then every time you answer questions guys you'll be doubting yourself so that's what happened to like uh, nurses like myself, guys, when I failed my, my CGFNS. The good thing is that uh, when I failed my CGFNS, 
I made sure that I studied really good and then the second time I passed it yet but guys but based on the research most of the second takers third takers they they fit 80% of the time they would fail again because uh, because of those factors guys so don't be uh, like me guys if you have an exam plan it um, study really good guys there's no substitute for knowledge guys so you really have to go back to your basic and study and you know um, study 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 all right so once again and for those people who who failed any exam guys don't quit guys that 80 percent you can diminish it you you can totally eradicate it guys by studying all right and by planning guys and by executing your plan all right and you'll be able to pass guys so that's what i did and i took me uh three days guys to pass uh my cen exam or my uh, certified emergency uh, nurse exam guys but i won't suggest and i won't recommend that to you nurses okay please don't do that guys i uh, went through um uh, like hell uh, because you know i did not prepare for it guys but i was so blessed i thank god for that uh, that i passed my cn exam and that's what i did guys those are the techniques um, those are the things that i i did to make sure that i passed the exam guys um, within uh, with my uh, three days of um, of study guys all right so hopefully you've learned a lot from from these videos uh, from this video so rather and then uh, there'll be more videos guys I'm just uh, prepping up for more for my other videos and please don't forget to pray for and and send your support through social media and through uh whichever way you can guys to the nurses to the angels in the sick room who are in the front line uh who are uh, helping uh, to eradicate um uh, coronavirus guys and say a say a short prayer for them all right and now until next time uh nurses angels in the sick room bye bye